Tiffany had just came out of nowhere. So I called it a scam. And then I spent five months of my life trying to prove that I was right. And it was a scam. But what happened next was kind of funny. I got a message from Aya Avramovich, who owned my best, had a great conversation with him. And he was basically appreciative that I was warning people to scams and wanted to share some information with me. So as I started to do my due diligence on IL himself, I found out that he was an inventor in the Israeli military before he moved to the private sector. He made high technology products for both the military and the public, started cryptocurrency mining with MindBest in 2017 when he invested $1.5 million of his and his family's money. MindBest has been awarded one of the top 10 mining pools in the world by Bitmain's World Digital Mining Summit. That's right, Bitmain owns World Digital Mining Summit. That's a big deal because now you got one of the top manufacturers in the world saying that this guy's company is one of the best companies in the world for mining. That got my attention. And then I discovered that he had been working on a coin that he discovered a project called Bitcoin Royale that was abandoned. Uh, they tried to make the theft proof technology work. They couldn't, but he did. And they launched Bitcoin Vault in 2018 or started a, actually created it in 2018. And they launched it in January of 2020. So you guys know. Now, as this is some of my research, actually, when I did this originally, Ayal Avramovich patents, Ayal Avramovich inventor, those were the two terms that I actually Googled. And I found tons of patents that this man has made from body fat scales to postal scales, you know, to uh, different types of, you know, rechargeable technology to massage robots. I mean, all different types of different things that this man owns the patents on. I even tracked back those companies that were associated with the patents. One of them happened to be a company called Thinium. And when I clicked on more and then about, this page popped up. And right here in this red box, it states, Chief Technologist Ayal Avramovich has ex extensive experience in both military and advanced commercial technology, developing the most innovative and revolutionary products and portable technology today. Then on Gigalinks, I found that he had been the CEO when they created a product called the Gigalinks Converter and sold it to Sony for millions of dollars. These are some of the products he made while he was at Thinium. This is the Gigalinks Converter. This is the Weaving Massage Robot that was sold on QVC, which is like the home shopping network, where they did over $400,000 in a single day. But what was most impressive is when I started to search for Ayal Avramovich featured speaker or Ayal Avramovich keynote speaker. I found out that this guy wasn't just in the mining industry. He was one of the most notable guys in the industry, and he had been a featured speaker at mining events all over the world. Like, this guy is somebody in the industry. And that was enough to really get my attention and get me to really start talking to figure out how this came about. So as a, as the story goes, basically, I explained to me that uh, Greg and, and I, Al, Greg was actually, Actually, the MindBest uh, vice president of marketing for MindBest, they were actually over in South Korea speaking at an event. And one of the people in the audience was a man by the name of Hanil Park. Now, Hanil Park owns International Digital Asset Management Group. And I actually knew who he was because he was in another company that I had been in before. And uh, I had left that company end of 2017. He had still been there, but he realized something was wrong and that they weren't being paid as they should be paid. Based on what he heard on stage, he knew that he had to have a little conversation with Ayal and Greg. So they ended up sitting down and spoke to a translator because Hanil doesn't speak any English. He only speaks Korean. So they ended up basically creating this idea that they would go out and they would create a spinoff of their company called Mining City. And Greg would move over. He would basically be the CEO of Mining City. Hanil Park would be the, the master distributor for Mining City. This is the company that we're here to talk about, guys. Now, we've been through this time after time talking about crypto. So I'm going to kind of whiz through some of this stuff. And I want to get all the way up to where we're talking about Bitcoin Vault. And the reason being is this little coin is one of the most phenomenal coins I've seen at this time. For one, it's the first theft-proof coin ever created in the cryptocurrency space. This coin, unlike all coins that have just one private key, this coin actually has three keys. The keys basically are the private key is the first key. The second key is your cancellation key, which is the theft-proof key. 
And then the third key is your fast 10 minute transaction key. It allows you to basically confirm a transaction when you're doing business in person fast or when you're doing business with somebody that you know so there's no lag or no holdup to complete your business. Because of this technology, it makes Bitcoin Vault really the ultimate store value, even better than Bitcoin because this coin can't be stolen. And we've already seen exchanges, wallets, and different things get hacked by user error that have resulted in people losing their Bitcoin. Now we have a coin that you can't be that can't be stolen. And unlike all the other coins, like say Bitcoin Cash, Bitcoin SV, this is not a fork of Bitcoin. We basically took Bitcoin's code, we added technology to it, and then we mined the Genesis coin. So our block reward, unlike Bitcoin or Bitcoin Cash or Bitcoin SV, is not 6.25, it's 150 per block making it very, very profitable mine to mine. And just like Bitcoin, there's only going to be 21 million coins in total. And that allows this coin to have the biggest impact on the market, as you have seen already. The advantages of mining this coin over Bitcoin, number one, it uses the same ASICs chip. It also uses the same algorithm as Bitcoin called SHA-256. It makes it possible for current Bitcoin miners basically to switch their machines over to Bitcoin Vault and increases our network. We also use proof of work to confirm transactions. So it's created a real ecosystem as the coins are mined and converted to pay for infrastructure and maintenance of the constantly working mining farms. Now, our first seven months, we had a block reward of 175. And then we uh, have in May of 2020, and we went to 150 for six months. We'll have again in November 2020 and go to 125 for six months. And in May 2021, we'll have again for 100, we'll have 100 coins this time. November 2021, 75. May 2022, 50. November 22, uh, 20, uh, 2022, actually, sorry, 25. And in May 2023, we'll be at 12 and a half. And in November 2023, we'll be at six and a quarter and we'll catch up with the pace of Bitcoin. This coin is secure because of the anti-theft technology. It's very simple. As I told you earlier, it's just Bitcoin Core with additional features. And the users actually can decide if they want to do an ultra fast or an ultra secure transaction. It's up to them. The nice part about this, though, again, ultimate store value. Um, the third and the second and third key, so you guys know. Well, actually, uh, once this is completely implemented and the new wallet launches, every transaction will be alerted on chain for 144 blocks, which is 24 hours, and you can cancel it in an emergency with the recovery key up to 24 hours. The reduction, I obviously told you, is set to uh, catch up in uh, May, and uh, we've already surpassed Bitcoin Cash and Bitcoin SV when it comes to the hash rate, guys. That's a really, really big deal because typically the coins that have the most hash rate, they have the, the biggest value on coin market cap also. So let's talk about the partnership between Mining City and MindBest. So MindBest obviously has been around since January 2017. They have a contract with the government of Kazakhstan, which is actually what you're seeing right here in the picture. This is the mining field that they have there. And uh, they already have all the technology. Mining City, on the other hand, is basically the marketing partner. They're the ones that go out and market to the public the sale of the packages and the contracts. Transparency is very key at Mining City, too. I absolutely love this because we know where every penny of every dollar goes to. With Mining City, they get 35% of the commissions, 2% goes to salaries, and Mine Best controls 6% for the mining farms. 24% goes to miners' purchases and maintenance, 3% goes to shipping and taxes, 20% goes to pre-mining, and 10% goes to company profit. So uh, MindBest, obviously, as I told you, they, they're one of the best in the industry, guys. They actually have awards and accolades from all around the industry, and that makes them the perfect partner on the back end for Mining City. We also have the stability because we don't just have Kazakhstan, where we have multiple uh, mining facilities there. We got a 20 megawatt, another 20 megawatt, a 20, 50 megawatt. They're already running at full capacity and they're building another one right now, uh, another 20 and 150 megawatt facility. And they're also building another 100 megawatt facility in China right now. 
and expected to actually build one someplace in Poland. Now, uh, this is what I told you earlier, guys. They had a swap, uh, cooperation agreement, basically. This is basically how they work. MineBest does all the, the mining. They do all the work. They control everything for the actual uh, production. And Mining City basically goes out and markets everything. This, this partnership gives us some unique advantages over other companies. Number one, we have a stable power supply. We get 4.75 cents per kilowatt. We have the Mine Best box, which is another IAL Avramovich invention that basically allows the cooling system to be activated automatically so we don't have a need for separate air conditioning. This keeps our costs low and our profits high. We have complete transparency. Anybody can purchase a, a specific amount of hash power for a period of 11 days, 1100 days, and um, they were going to get earnings for 1100 days, period. One of the things that happened while I was there is this. When I first signed up, I bought a Bitcoin plan where we had a, uh, the S9 amp miners. And uh, one of the trips that I was going back, he discovered that if he switched all of the machines from the Bitmain S9 amp miners to the What's Miner M21Ss, he could save about 4 to $5 a day in electricity and the profits would go up. So you can see that actually right here. Uh, this is one of the beautiful things that I like about him is they switched all these machines out for everybody and didn't charge anybody a penny. OK, now, guys, look, to get started with this company, I'm going to tell you it's very, very simple. All you got to do is get back with the affiliate that got you here. You signed up through their link and you buy a plan. It's going to take 10 days to set up your equipment. And on the 11th day, you'll actually get your first payout when the timer runs out in the back office about an hour to two hours after. You'll see your first payment in your wallet and you'll continue to be paid for another 1,099 days. OK, so let's talk about how you make money, because there's really there's five key components to this, guys. But I'm going to tell you up front, there's really three of these that you want to pay attention to. You want to pay attention to your rank. OK, that's the first thing I'm going to say. And then you want to pay attention to CP1, CP2 and CP3, which is your binary tree bonus, your matching bonus and your plan bonus. So let's go through this, guys, to help you understand whether you guys are buying Bitcoin mining or Bitcoin vault mining. The plans are identical. $300 plan will get you three terahash. A $600 plan will get you six terahash. A $1,200 plan will get you 12 terahash. And a $2,400 plan will get you 24 terahash. And a $4,200 plan will get you 42 terahash. Now, these are all for 1,100 days, and they all average $100 per terahash. If you buy a platinum package, though, for $12,600, you get a 12 terahash bonus. So instead of getting 126 terahash, you get 138, and that drops your cost per terahash down to around $93 and change. So as you guys join, here, here's basically the, what you're gonna look for. You want to look at your citizen rank. So as you join, remember this is mining city, so this is all built like a city would be built. So you guys can become a resident by buying a $300 package. Um, you can become a citizen by buying a $600 package. You can become a city builder by buying a $600 package, sponsoring five people, and having $12,000 in, in your total team tree volume. And you can become a city developer by having a $600 plan, sponsoring five citizens, and having $60,000 in your team tree volume. And you need three city builders under your team tree with at least one in team A. You can become a city manager with a $2,400 package, sponsor five citizens, $300,000 in team volume. You have to have three city developers in your team and at least one in team A. You can become a city chief manager with a $4,200 plan, five, sponsor five people as citizens, you have $2.4 million in your team tree volume, and uh, you have to have three city managers in your team tree with at least one in team A. You can have uh, become a city manager or city mayor by having a $12,600 plan sponsor at least five citizens, have $12 million in team volume, and have three city chief managers with at least one in your team A. You can become a governor with a $13,800 plan, sponsor just five people, and have $100 million in team volume, and you have to have three city mayors in your team with at least one in team A. Now, Neil Park has already done this rank, guys. He's already done it, so we know it's doable, okay? You also have what we call a team tree. Your team tree is basically your unilevel. 
to help you guys understand that. We're going to get into that right here, guys, so you understand. When you sign up people, your first five people that pay are automatically placed into your Team A. And anybody that joins from six to infinity are placed on your Team B. What's unique about this is when you sign people up uh, inside the actual Team Tree, they're automatically placed. But in the binary, they're not automatically placed because it works on what we call a point system. In order to cycle, you basically want to have five points left and five points right. So when somebody buys a primary plan for $300, they're going to get half a point. You're going to get half a point where you can place them in the binary. A $600 plan has one point, $1,200 has two, $2,400 has four, $4,200 has seven, and a 12-6 plan gives you 21 points. So this is how it works. When you sign up, this would be your main position. What I typically tell people to do is go ahead and build a tripod. So you have your main position, your, le your left position, and your right position. So let's say that you signed up here. You went ahead and signed up yourself here and then here. Now all of a sudden you come out, you sponsor somebody on the left, 4,200, that gives you seven points. You sponsor somebody on the right over here, seven points. So you got seven and seven, that's one cycle, that'll make you $200. Up here you have 14 points. So this position goes out and cycles to 2,400, has four points here. They need another point to cycle across the board here because they got a 4,200 here, which gave them seven points. So if they had five and seven, this would be one cycle, but it's not four and seven. So this will set as is. But up here, you have 14 and, 10, uh, 14 and 11. So 10 and 10 will give you another cycle. That's $600 for the day. Very simple system, guys. This is built off two legs as you go all the way down left and right. What you want to do is work them to keep your points even. If you keep your points even, that's going to help you cycle more often. Um, let's talk about cycles per rank. So if you join as a resident with a $300 package, you can cycle maximum one time per day for $200 per day. As a citizen, $600 package, you can cycle four times and make up to $800 per day. As a builder, you can cycle five times per day for up to $1,000. As a city developer, six times per day for up for $1,200. As a city manager, eight times per day for $1,600. And as a city chief manager, 10 times per day for $2,000 a day. City mayor, 12 times per day for up to $2,400. And as a governor, 14 times per day, up to $2,800 a day. Now guys, look, I know just about everybody here would be happy making $800 a day. That's the reality because that's way more than most people earn in an average comp plan in any job or even most network marketing companies. $2,800 a day is a lot of money, but here's the reality. This is the small part of the comp plan. This part right here has nothing to compare to this. The binary matching bonus is where all the money is. So now remember your binary matching bonus is set on your team tree or the unilevel side of the business, not the binary. So when you come out and you sign somebody up, that's your first level. If they sign somebody up, that's your second level. If they sign somebody up, that's your third, and then your fourth, and then your fifth, all the way down to 11 levels. Based on your rank, you get matching bonuses based up to a certain, a certain level. So as a resident, one level. Citizen, two levels. City builder, four levels. City developer, six levels. City manager, eight levels. City chief manager, nine levels. City mayor, 10 levels. City governor, 11 levels. So this is actually what that looks like, guys. If, if you became a governor like Neil Park is, you actually could earn a monthly potential. One position could pay you $612,900 a month, far more than you could make than cycling at $2,800 a day. This comp plan is monster. It's one of the best comp plans I have ever seen, but that's not it. Because in that unit level in the team tree, you also have another thing that we call the plan bonus. The plan bonus basically works like this. So anybody that joins your team A, the first five people, you're going to make 5% in commissions. But on your team B, you're going to make 10% in commissions, and that's not it. So when somebody in your team B sponsors somebody in their team A, you make 5% on those people. And here's the cool part. Resident doesn't apply to you, unfortunately. You want to start with a $600 plan and up, guys. But as a citizen, you get 10 levels of this 5% bonus. As a city builder, you get 15. 
As a city developer, you get 20 levels. As a city manager, you get 30 levels. And as a city chief manager, city mayor, or governor, there are no limits. So again, you have something to potentially earn you far more money than what you're earning off the cycles of $2,800 a day. You also have a repurchase bonus. So in the repurchases, uh, what you got paid in your team A was originally 5 and 10%. Now it goes to 5 and 10 and 10, I should say. Uh, so now you actually get paid, or 5, 10, and 5, but now you get paid 10, 20, and, and 10. When people repurchase in the back office, you automatically get doubled up on your commissions and it goes down to the same level. So this BA structure, the BA structure of 10% instead of 5, still goes to the same limits in your levels of the unit level. And then you also have, guys, your residual bonus. Now, this really helps actually with the lower levels more than it does the big levels because by the time you've achieved some of the higher ranks, you don't need this as much, but it still goes on. So as a city builder and uh, a city developer, you actually earn 1% on Generation 1, 1% on Generation 2, and a half a percent on Generation 3. Once you become a, a city manager, it's only 1% on generation one and two, and that continues all the way down. Potential, again, is massive amounts of money.